Hello YouTube, this is Daddy and Carl again today and today we're just going to do another follow-up video of the Henry, the yellow Henry that we bought for 99p a few weeks ago. I mean this one I should imagine would have ended up in the bin. Um, we felt sorry for it and bought it for 99p and it is now working. We got, well, while we're there we, we're going to put it on his other channel but we put, picked this one up from the car boot sale today for three pound fifty. It's a little uh, mini humid dehumidifier. Yeah, it sucks the uh, damp out. Sucks the damp out. It's a time of year we get the damp in it. Yeah, With all the rain we had last yeah. night. So, no back to the, the, the this yellow Henry. Um, a few of you guys made comments saying that it wasn't a hundred percent, but thanks to point out, we do know that now. Um, they say we did the floor tool didn't look right that's like an earlier floor tool so this is like what I would call a custom Henry I think that's all he I think he had the old one and the brand new one because it was a builder's vacuum and obviously I think he had two pneumatic Henry's he may have had two pneumatic the Henry's and the brand new one. yeah and maybe the new one blew up and he just put the old top on it but yeah anyway but this is the, the bottom doesn't match the top because it should have black wheels with yellow covers on them. Um, the filter that's with it, that's the old style filter, but I would say as a builder, this is probably the best filter for him because you can actually, these actually wash and dry very quick. Inside it's, it has got, you cannot get rid of that. I've tried sift cream and all sorts. I've soaked it, boiling up water, soaked it overnight. I did put most of it through the washing machine. I'll put the hose through, the filters in. Um, I know that the newer ones, they recommend not to wash them. But, you know, it doesn't get used that often. Doesn't really matter. They are quite cheap to buy, but I don't think you can get these old style filters anymore. No, the old style filters, I can wash. You can wash a new one. See, one thing, if Pneumatic's watch, watch, uh, watching this, why can't Pneumatic make a washable filter? All the other manufacturers, talking Dyson, Fax, all the other big names, they've all got washable filters. So if Pneumatic are watching it, why can't they make a machine washable filter for a pneumatic Henry? There must be a reason, but obviously they've been doing making these cleaners a long time and I'm sure they can get some synthetic stuff which is washable, which does the same as... It's a Nelka company. So... It's a Nelka company, it's got washable stuff. Yeah. So anyway... We're back to this one again, so it does work. There was Carl's going to show you what was wrong with it. Go get grab us a pop the bits in. Go grab us the parts we needed to put in it. Go grab us a. I can't show the motor because in the other machine, I had to order one of these um, little kits. The actual um, this is a genuine pneumatic. They were three pound. So this one was 99p, Ay. that was £3, that was £4 for that one. But what it is, that's that's the electrical contact kit which goes on top of the, on the, on between the wire and the motor. It's like a metal plate. And one other thing I'd like to ask is, there, there is grease on it, but um, what sort of grease would we use to re-grease it? Because what we have looked on the on, on the websites and stuff and it says you need special grease but it doesn't even tell you what grease you're supposed to be using. I mean you can get like you can get like synthetic grease, you can get standard grease, you can get even uh, copper grease. In in the motor gone. Yeah, the motor had gone and I actually took the the, the motor out of the two thousand and ten Hetty because it was the closest one we could find because they both have a 1200 watt motor and they're both two speed 
Um, so I've actually borrowed that one. It may eventually stay in there. We are going to get another motor from Kay Smith. I think she has just got some more in stock. Probably find out now. I've told people they'll be gone again because I know that um, another. I can't think it was. Was it? I can't think what his name is. He had the green Henry and he needed a motor. And then I went on to buy it and the next day they're gone. So, so, but she always gets more in. I mean, it's a good place to get cheap vacuums, isn't it, Carl? I mean, so we're going to fire this one up now. So it has got 1104T motor in it. So it has got the correct one. It's it's got the genuine one in it. You're gonna and uh, I'll quickly let, show you this one. I've been, as you can see, I've been doing a bit of uh, paint preparation, and um, I didn't use a Dyson. I've used this one. This is my other cleaner. One of my she is called Dirty Hetty. Um, we'll do, but I won't be showing it properly now because she is filled up with plaster dust. And all sorts of crap in it so so she will be coming up on a later episode so there's a dirty Etty as well in which she's called dirty Etty, isn't she because she just she 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 vac vacuums up decking um guinea pig stuff anything anything dirty goes in there i'll put a bag in it as well it's all right i'm gonna plug it in Right, so I'll show you the, the rating plate again. It's a, it's a 2005. It should have been, I think, if I say it wrong, it's around two, before 2003, they had the black wheels on it. So it should have had a 2003 head on. And I think they still had the 2003, I think still, if I'm right, they had 1200 watts at the time. I think that's when they near enough introduced it. Well, you, it's your video, mate. I'm not doing it. Put it together then and do them up. Here's my sound, Oh, why not turn it on? Is he not working? He's not working now, at the moment. It's not working. Well, technical itch. Wow, he did have a bit of a technical problem. What? Um, I may have to replace the plug on this. Because I, I just took the fuse out and swapped the new one in. But I think it could be something to do in the plug. So it, it works. It does work. Because there's nothing wrong with the motor, is it? So now we're going to switch them on. Got the two speed up. That's the two speed. So. Right then. Now that's on low, now it's on the lower speed now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I quite like it. Yeah. Are you sure it's still on there? Yeah. 
So there we have it, we saved another Henry, um, and it is a yellow one. It's not the true yellow Henry, but the way the way vacuums go sometimes, sometimes you'll, good, you'll find all the other bits for another one. It's in, quite interesting, really. Here we go! There he is. So there we have the yellow Henry, and I think I'm oh, going to... I'm just going to buy another plug for him. I think I can get him for about 60 RP, 60 cent P. So I'll, um, that's all the stuff goes in there. I will get another Henry plug, or I may even get another cable. I don't really know. That's the advantage of having a fitted plug on it. So obviously, there must be something not right with this. If that's got a, another plug on it, they've either cut it down to fit on the power tool, which they've cut through, like on a drill or a saw, or there was a fault with the plug, the lead, so maybe I will, I will get another lead or something, but that's a later date. We're obviously going to get another one, bastard bits or something. I mean, you find them but by the bins. I mean, there has been a lot of good trash finds lately, and I think because it is that time of year, that around the end of the summer, people think, oh, I'll go paint the house, then I'm going to go decorate. Oh, and I'll use my Dyson on it, and then the Dyson goes wrong because it's not built for like vacuuming up past the dust, no. and then it goes in the bin, no. and then people like me, you, and all the other guys finds it and says, "Oh, it's a cheap one. Get that one." Cleans it out, and it's good as new again. Um, what happened? What happened? Say, I sound heavy on them. We've never found Henry, have we? No. We've never found Henry. I sound. I sound one Dyson. We were never. We, uh, I sound too dirty. We have been given quite a lot of good vacuums, which we will be showing. I mean, some of the ones we've been given for people that disliked them and got rid of them, it's unbelievable. So, we'll be doing videos about them as well. Go, so, go about six. I don't know, I think we've been given about six or seven in total. Six or seven? Yeah, or picked them up from free ads and all this lot. So, we've had some good stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So here's the ending, technical fault, um, I will change the plug on it, uh, to be honest with you, it has used it the last two or three weeks with no problem, it's just been sat in the bedroom and decided like a lot of things that when you want to put it on the video, things don't always go the way it should do, But and it's normally something trivial, so I will put another plug on it, so I'll get a plug for that for the next week. I'll go and get another but the thing is, black plugs are more expensive than white plugs. Because um, sometimes black leaves look nice with black plugs, and white leaves look nice with white plugs. Because with a white lead, black got, plugs look horrible. One has got loads of stars. So, what are you going to say? Bye for now. Bye for now. And please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8. Vacuum Man 8. So, this one, with the cost of a new motor, will be £20. So we've done pretty well with that one. And, and that one. Bye.